whatever freaking time of day it is. I hope you have the best day ever. So here's what's going on today. I took off in the morning to go get me some coffee and work from a little local coffee shop that um, my brother goes to a lot. Um, it's not a Starbucks, nothing special. They don't have Wi-Fi. I tether off my phone, but it's not a big deal. I just wanted to get out of the house. Um, I noticed lately or recently, this is completely off topic, but I've noticed lately or recently that I've been subconscious. So I need to quit feeling sad or depressed, I guess would be the right word, over the circumstances of my life and where I'm at today because um, only I can fix my problems and, and, and only I can change the outcome of what my life is, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. And, you know, it's kind of like a lot of songs are saying you have to start with the person you look at in the mirror. And, and feeling sorry for myself or for what situation I'm in or, or what's going on in my life doesn't improve it or doesn't make it any better. So there's no reason for me to continue to, to sit there sad or upset or, or um, making myself sick, I guess, is really what it comes down to. So I'm trying to just learn to to just be more out there and I did it at the very beginning but I feel like recently I've come back down into locking myself up and and putting myself into this box that that I uh you know your comfort zone you you rather not risk um criticism or failure or or opinions or or the being uncomfortable um, because you want the similar things in life the things you're used to the things you can control and I can't do that so I'm starting to realize this now that I didn't know it I'm sure people see it but I need to just do it more often and I think even as someone like myself that's trying to grow and put himself out there I still fall back into tendencies that I'm used to so things that I feel comfortable doing so I do those things also and and I need to realize that I need to not do those things I need to to understand that it's okay to get out of my comfort zone and I need to not let my subconscious mind win out every single time and when I say my subconscious mind I say it with the idea of of you have to learn to control your mind from winning the battles. What's up everybody? Today is a good day. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, I feel like lately I've been not exactly the best version of me. And I feel like that can happen to each and every one of us. Um, as you go through life, you have times and moments that, that everybody goes through their own issues and everybody's going through their own um, problems in their life and, and that happens, which is understandable. And everybody finds a way to get through them and, and how to find have their own way of coping and overcoming those things. I just want to throw out a few things out there that I'm trying to do because I've noticed in myself a lot recently that I've been down, not being my typical self, and I feel like everything you do is is um, is is a product of what you become. I guess you know if you practice, 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 and you practice the right way, you become an extraordinary specimen good at whatever you want to do or you want to become the best at but you have to practice and put the time in and the work and I feel as an individual it's the same exact way you have to take care of yourself give yourself the right tools give yourself the right energy give yourself the right mindset to become the best version of you which at times can become difficult so you have to become a creature of habit 
And when I say a creature habit, I'm trying to say, have you put in bad food into your system? What your system gives you bad is, is not gonna be good. If you, if you read junk, you're gonna think bad thoughts. If you do things that are not good for your health, whether it's drinking, smoking, whatever it might be, it's gonna provide a, a, an impact, a negative impact. Um, so what I'm saying is that I noticed that I was down and I was just doing things that were not in the normal for me. I, I wasn't really motivated to get my workout in. I wasn't feeling good. I wanted, I wanted to stay in bed. I was doing all these things that I tell myself not to do, not waking up at my normal time, not reading my book every day, um, not being in the right subconscious mind of thinking positive things and having positive affirmation each and every day that I wake up, reminding myself that I am worth it and I am beautiful and I am intelligent. You know, doing those things that you're supposed to do and reminding yourself that you deserve the very best. And the reason I bring this up is because I feel like sometimes we all need to be reminded of that. Get that reminder, you need to take care of yourself and you need to do the right things for you and your body and your mind, your spirit, your soul, all those things. So make sure that, that when you start having not negative results, but not the results you want, Start with yourself and look at yourself and find the way to get yourself where you need to be ment mentally and physically to become what you want to become or reach that goal or that next level. And so like personally for me, I started trying to eat healthier. Not that I ate bad before, but I feel like I have a tendency to do good. And then I was eating some things that I, I could do without or eliminate from my diet. Like I love pasta, I was eating pasta. Um, I love chips, I eat chips. So I started eliminating some of those things that I don't need because there's no reason for me to consume them if they're not making my body feel better. So I'm trying to eat salads, um, healthier meats, chicken, steaks. I'm trying to throw in more fish. A lot of, I buy a lot of fruits and vegetables, trying to get used to eating more fruits and vegetables so that I can produce better and my body doesn't get sick and doesn't feel bad. I'm also um, trying to um, do things that that work on my issues of thinking um, bad thoughts, and I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but the, the little rubber band trick, um, whatever you want to call it, um, but I have a little rubber band on my wrist. Um, whenever I'm thinking like a bad thought, a negative thought, I'm being negative towards myself or, or not being or saying things that are positive or make me feel good about myself, I give myself a, a snap. And not that it's anything like, oh my God, it's killing me, but it's one of those that I, you know, it, it makes me think like if I'm like, wow, I suck at this, I, you know, a little reminder like, you know, and it's, it gives you a little sting, you know, it's not anything bad, but find the things that help keep you on track. Whatever that little thing it is, do it. like stick with it and, and try to make yourself better because at the end of the day and I know this this is like two days of the same topic but at the end of the day always remember and realize that only you can take care of yourself and that only you can love yourself and you can't expect anyone to want to be a part of your life take care of you or or want to spend time with you when you don't want to do it with yourself, when you don't enjoy your own company, when you don't want to take care of your own body, when when you don't want the best for yourself, nobody else is going to want those things for you. So please remember to do that each and every day. Take care of yourself, love yourself, and do whatever makes you happy and helps you move forward in your life. And then you will attract all those things into your life. So don't forget that. This is just a little reminder of throwing it out there. So please remember to love yourself, take care of yourself, and appreciate the person you are and you're yet to become each and every day. What's up, everybody? So I'm getting ready to go to the gym, but this just crossed my mind. I have a lot of stuff built, built up um, in me, you know, that I've been holding in, that I haven't really discussed or talked about. 
So you know, usually what that means for me is a confessional. But here's where I'm at. I don't really know if you guys dig the confessionals, if you guys like them, if you guys think they're lame, what your feelings or emotion towards the confessionals are. And the reason I say that is because most of the content that I publish or push out there is things that I feel is is something that can impact your life or can get you to think about something you haven't done in a while or something that um, gets you to think about a different perspective or someone's um, the people around you the that everyone's going through some kind of struggle and sometimes you just need a reminder of, of doing things for yourself or um, how to handle different situations but the confessionals I do are more about me it's things that I have built up things that I need to express things that I want to talk about so if you guys like the confessionals and think I should make one soon hit the thumbs up and um, I'll get right on that and get a confession out there. But um, hit the thumbs up if you want a confession on this video. And I'll post one here soon. So let me know. But please be loving, caring, and compassionate individuals. You don't know what other people are going through. Try to spread positive vibes. And be the change you wish to see in the world each and every day.